Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele and I am back with another recipe. We're making butter. Yes, we're making butter at home today. As I said, whipping cream is on sale. So I'm making all the recipes that it calls for. Some of us, when we get to Ghana, butter is a problem and i remember planta margarine and that's what we'll be making today well something similar so in a bowl add in your whipping or heavy or double cream okay ensure that it is nice and cold and then using a hand mixer we're going to whip this until we get our butter you can also go ahead and use your stand mixer if you don't have any of these you can use a whisk but trust me it'll take a while and you may end up with some muscles but that is okay <laughs> While whipping, you will see your cream beginning to change color and thicken up. We will continue to whip until our cream begins to change color from white to cream and then yellow, just like this. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and clean the sides of the bowl. And if you want this to be salted butter, you can go ahead and add some salt at this point, just when it's beginning to change color. And we'll continue to whip it until the buttermilk separates from the butter itself. And you can see it beginning to happen right there now if you're in ghana and wondering where you can find heavy cream most of the supermarkets in the mall carry it otherwise i do not know any other way you can make butter at home trust me this is way better than a lot of the stuff they have out there on the market as you can see we have our butter and we also have our buttermilk now remember, if you want to make this unsalted, skip the salt completely. Now using my spatula, I will gather up my butter to one side and then I'll roll it into a ball. If you like, you can use a cheesecloth to separate this, but I like to put this together with my fingers. I love the way it feels feels and i do not want any of it to go to waste by sticking to a cheesecloth or flour sack cloth at this point you can shape it into a brick or a circle whichever way you like a log hey be my guest and just like that we have a whole brick of butter this is about one pound okay to store this once you get it out of your buttermilk you want to use a paper towel to dab any excess buttermilk that is on it or you can rinse it with some water i really don't mind because i use this right away so i don't worry about it becoming rancid meaning it'll taste like oil going bad wrap it with a wax paper and this should last in your refrigerator for about six months as long as it is well done and with our buttermilk just pour it into your preferred container and store it in your refrigerator for about a week. And there you have it. Our butter is ready. Spread it over your bread and enjoy. We'll be making some butter cookies. We have so many recipes that we'll be making out of our homemade butter because, hey, I bought so, so much heavy cream. Now take part of your butter, place it in a bowl using your hand mixer, whip it until it is light and fluffy and there you have your homemade whipped butter. Do you see how nice, smooth and melts to my finger it is? Transfer it into your choice of airtight container, place it in your refrigerator and this should last you for about three to six months okay and that is it go ahead and enjoy it over bread 
crackers, toast, you name it, it goes well with it. Since whipped butter can be on a hard side to use, bring it out of your refrigerator, allow it to rest a bit or bring it to room temperature and enjoy with some grapes and crackers. Yes, y'all, sweetie tea teens, y'all know in my kitchen today. This butter also melts beautifully to make your breakfast eggs. So you see, everything is possible with your homemade butter. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe. If you do, share some pictures with me on Instagram and I will gladly post them on my story and as you can see sweetie tin tins is going on here i'm enjoying some with crackers and grapes you can substitute the butter for cheese if you wish until i see you in the next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys Bye, y'all.